Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to take saved files off the internet and transform them into your GameCube files in your saved memory folder. A few people asked me about how you do this because they recently just saw my Dreamcast video about how to transport your files to your VMU folder. So I'm going to show you in this video how to transfer your saved files into your GameCube folder via Dolphin. It's not that hard, not that difficult and we can get it done fairly quickly. To begin with, you're going to need to open two folders. You're going to need to open your GameCube folder, where Dolphin is located, and you're going to have to go to your Documents folder and find another folder named Dolphin Emulator. If you double click that folder, you should find another folder called GC, which is GameCube. And in there, you should find something called Memory Card A.USA. Now if we go back to the Dolphin emulator, double click that and open it up. We should then just be able to go to Tools, look for Memory Card Manager, GC, click on that, and then when that opens up you should get a menu that looks like this. Now we're going to need to go to Browse, and we're going to need to find the folder which is in Documents folder. So basically click on that, and navigate yourself to the Documents folder, find the Dolphin emulator, and then basically look for the GC folder. Once you double click there, look for the memory card.usa and double click on that and open it up. Now, if you do have any saved games, they will show up here. I'm going to be under the assumption that this is the first time you've installed Dolphin, so nothing should be there at all. If you want to install a save file from the internet, you're going to have to download that first. So you're going to need to go to your website, find the save file and download that to begin with. Once that's out of the way, we're going to need to go to import GCI. What we need to do now is we need to click on import GCI and we need to find the file. So simply navigate to wherever you downloaded this file, click on it and select open. And as you can see, for the example of this video, I'm using Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, it should show up. And that's basically it. There's nothing really more to it, it's as simple as that. It really is that easy to transfer file data, other from any saved file that you may have downloaded off the internet, into your GameCube memory card folder. If you do have any problems or any issues with this, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Just remember that if you are using PAL format games, you need to have a PAL save file, and if you have an NTSC file game, you're going to need to have an NTSC file save. But aside from that, you shouldn't really run into any troubles. Like I say guys, if you have any problems or need any help, just drop a comment below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. But for now, that's it for this video, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and please subscribe!